Have you ever paused to consider the profound influence somatic consent could have on your journey through life? This transformational practice is not just about arousal of the senses, it's a roadmap to comprehend and steer our physical desires effectively. Picture yourself on the brink of a boundless, uncharted territory, with an instinct to dive into the mystery yet uncertain of direction. This is where somatic consent shines. Consider it as a meticulously forged trail unfolding before you, guiding you towards a distant world of heightened self-realization. This isn't just any path, it's punctuated with milestones and signposts ensuring you never lose track. It offers a framework, a backdrop for you to explore and comprehend your physical drive. So envision somatic consent as your path, a distinctive journey committed to lead you to a deeper understanding of your physical drive. Have you ever experienced an overwhelming physical impulse yet felt clueless about how to handle it? Visualize a massive, unexplored territory, an untamed land of physical and erotic vigor. This terrain is inherent to us, but without direction or a map, it might appear distant, unreachable. We may sense this potent energy pulsating within us, but the lack of guidance leaves us disoriented on how to control it, channel it, and consciously interact with it. Here lies an intriguing contradiction. We experience this powerful physical impulse, this robust sexual energy, but are frequently left baffled about how to truly engage with it. It's like standing at the threshold of an enigmatic forest, feeling the pull to discover, but lacking root. This is where somatic consent enters the scene, serving as a navigation tool for this untamed land, a systematic method to steer our physical impulses. Consider it as a pathway across the wilderness, marked with landmarks and signposts, a route that guides us deeper into our own essence. This route provides a structure, a method to consciously interact with our physical impulses. It's a connecting link to our energy, allowing us to do more than merely satisfying it unconsciously. It assists us in tuning into our bodies, in feeling and comprehending our drives, in consciously engaging with our physicality. However, this expedition isn't solely about investigating our physical. It's about affirming a profound, resounding yes to life. It's about instances of intense connection, instances that make us feel thankful to be alive, such as the charm of somatic consent. Goes beyond helping us steer our physical impulses. It enables us to connect profoundly with ourselves, with our bodies, with our vitality. Through this journey, we can learn to cherish the simple pleasures of everyday life to discover happiness in the minutest of moments, to truly be present in our bodies. Embarking on this journey through this somatic sexual wildland is a desire many of us yearn to fulfill. Have you ever known a deep resonant yes to life resonate within yourself? Within these affirming experiences lies a potent transformative power that can change the course of our lives. They are akin to hidden gems tucked away in the broad spectrum of our human existence. These experiences, these pivotal moments, serve as a profound affirmation to life itself. They extend far beyond a simple agreement, evolving into a deep, passionate yes to life. Testimonies to the beauty, richness, and vibrancy of our existence, they confirm that we are not just existing, but fully living. These are the moments that give us pause, spurring reflection and appreciation of life's intricate weave. They evoke a deep sense of connection to our inner selves and the world around us. They are the moments that ignite our sense of truly being alive. These experiences act as a lighthouse in the fog, a marker in uncharted territory, a milestone on the road of our journey. They serve as reminders of the beauty and purpose of our journey, fueling inspiration, motivation and progression. The beauty of these experiences is that they are not fleeting moments of joy, but profound, transformative experiences that imprint on our lives. They shape us, form us, and ultimately define us. They awaken us to the depth and richness of our existence. They illuminate the truth that life is more than mere survival. It's about flourishing. They highlight that life isn't just about existence, but about fully participating in it. They underscore that life is about more than going through the motions. It's about passionately embracing every moment with enthusiasm and vigor. These, these moments of deep affirmation to life are a grand celebration of our existence. They celebrate the beauty, the richness, and the wonder of life. They celebrate the privilege of being alive. These moments of deep affirmation, aren't they the rare gems in the treasure chest of our lives? What if we dared to face our own limits? Picture this moment, 
perched on the boundary of familiarity, toes twitching over the ledge of certainty, glancing into the deep chasm of the unfamiliar. Suddenly you realize that you're on the brink, gazing at the sprawling panorama of your untapped prospects. The journey isn't solely about voyaging into the unknown territory of your capabilities. It's also a mirror revealing the walls you've built around yourself, the restrictions you've self-inflicted. The thought of stepping over these walls evokes fear. Fear of what lies beyond, fear of disappointment, fear of being exposed. But fear, it's a shifty companion. It murmurs sweet nothings in your ear, persuading you to remain caged within your comfort zone. It encourages the path of least resistance, the path that is seemingly safer. However, the real expedition starts when you decide to face these fears. Accepting your personal boundaries is a significant part of this journey. It's about being aware of your current position and the obstacles that lie ahead. It's about recognizing that your path is distinctively yours and it's all right to take it slow. But remember, while accepting these boundaries is crucial, it's equally important to embrace unknown opportunities. The road that takes you to explore your untapped capabilities doesn't run straight. It's a zigzagging pathway riddled with unexpected turns, highs and lows, deviations and deadlocks. Sometimes the journey may seem insurmountable, almost terrifying. But remember, every expedition commences with a single move. And every move, however insignificant, is a step forward. So muster the courage to take that first step, to venture beyond your boundaries. Because when we decide to test our limits, that's when we truly start to evolve. Only by acknowledging our limits can we begin the journey to transcend them. Is it possible to find joy in the simplest of acts? You may find it hard to believe, but indeed it is. Allow me to tell you about a personal experience. Every day I find myself in the kitchen brewing my morning green tea. It's an ordinary task performed without much thought. Until one day something changed. As I was pouring the boiling water into my cup, I was overcome with an unexpected wave of happiness. It was a simple instant, the steam ascending, the scent permeating the room, but I was entirely there, in that moment. I experienced the heat of the cup in my hands, the calming sound of the water flowing, the excitement of the impending first sip. Suddenly this ordinary task was filled with a richness, a depth of involvement, that I'd overlooked before. That is the wonder of somatic consent. It's not just about momentous epiphanies or transformative changes. It's also about these insignificant moments, these instances of delight that we often neglect in our daily rush. It's about cultivating awareness, being present and engaging in the simple act of living. This mindfulness, this capacity to relish each moment, it's like a lighthouse guiding us through our journey. It's a milestone towards the expansive land we've been discussing. It might not always be evident, particularly when we're engrossed in reaching a destination, accomplishing a goal. When we slow down, when we are attentive, when we are open to the possibility of finding joy in the smallest of actions, we begin to see it. It's not just about savoring these moments for ourselves. It's also about sharing them, about leading others on this path, about guiding them to their own moments of conscious enjoyment. This is the expedition we are on. It's a journey of exploration, of revelation, of connection. It's voyage into the essence of what it means to be human, to be alive, to be a part of this world. And the charm of this journey lies in the awareness, the ability to relish each moment. Have you ever felt a burning passion to guide others? This is a question that sparks a flame of curiosity within us when we experience something that profoundly, profoundly transforms our lives. Imagine stumbling upon an unexpected treasure, the allure of somatic consent and feeling an irresistible urge to guide others on this remarkable journey. It's not merely about pointing others towards a destination, it's about helping them chart their own unique course. Visualize each person's distinct relationship with somatic consent, as intimately personalized as the journey each of us embarks on in life. The notion of leading others through this voyage is far from fleeting. It's a fascination, a keenness drawn from the profound effect of this method. Picture an untouched, wide open landscape and the desire to unveil the sense of astonishment and awe it inspires. 
It's not pretending to have all the solutions or claiming expertise. It's about sharing the compass and landmarks that have aided through our own exploration. There's a deep satisfaction in recounting our tales and assisting others in finding their paths. Picture it as kindling a beacon and passing it forward, lighting the route for others to tread. The exhilaration of uncovering something new intensifies when it's shared. Guiding others through somatic consent journey is a chance to pass on the profound revelations and transformations we've undergone. Reflect on this. It's not solely about the act of leading, but about the shared expedition, the mutual discovery, and the collective transformation. It's about becoming a chapter in someone else's journey to self-discovery and fulfillment. So let's dwell on this idea. Envision potential of not just journeying this path, but leading others through it. It's an expedition worth undertaking, a path worth illuminating. Imagine the possibility of being not just a traveler, but a guide. What destination does the journey with somatic consent take us to? It guides us towards a realm of profound self-awareness and acceptance. Imagine discovering a map to a realm you've always sensed but never knew how to traverse, a broad, untamed landscape brimming with our raw, visceral drives, potent energy. We've always sensed the attraction, the desire to discover, but lacked a distinct path to tread. Somatic consent hands us that road adorned with milestones and signposts to safeguard us from straying. It's no direct, well-walked route, but a meandering path that encourages us to value the voyage as much as the destination. It proposes a systematic method to channel our physical drives, a way to tap into the energy that's always been within us, but which we've often grappled to comprehend. Oh, but this journey is more than just understanding our physical drives. It's about recognizing and respecting our personal boundaries. It's about accepting that saying no, proceeding at our pace and exercising caution is okay. It instructs us that our journey is unique to us and we are the decision makers of our pace. Somatic consent is not about racing to reach the sweeping wild territory. It's about relishing the journey, cherishing each stride, each milestone. It's about finding delight in the present moment, be it brewing a cup of green tea in the morning or feeling warm water. It's about nurturing consciousness and gratitude for the simple everyday moments we often overlook. The journey with somatic consent is also about guiding others. It's about sharing our journeys, our discoveries, our insights. It's about aiding others to find their paths, navigating them through their personal wild territories. It's about acknowledging that we are not alone in our journeys, that we are all explorers in this expansive panorama of human existence. But perhaps the most aspect of somatic consent is the profound affirmation of life. It's about experiencing moments of intense satisfaction that make us feel truly alive and thankful. It's about acknowledging the beauty and wonder of our existence, the pure bliss of being alive. And so the journey with somatic consent is a transformative one. It's a journey that alters us fundamentally, that reformulates our comprehension of ourselves and our relations with others. It's a journey that inches us closer to our true selves, that enables us to embrace our raw, wild, uncontrolled energy with understanding and acceptance. It's journey that educates us to affirm life, to relish the present moment with joy and appreciation. It's a journey that underscores the importance of acknowledging and respecting our personal boundaries, of moving at our pace. And it's a journey that motivates us to guide others, to share our experiences and insights, to assist others in finding their paths. Thus, somatic consent is more than a path. It's a journey of self-discovery, personal growth and profound fulfillment that is the path you are invited to.